good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Emmanuel. A lot of individuals have reached out to me, you know, asking me what's going on in their Binance and uh, the Nigerian government, asking me if Binance is no longer working in Nigeria and, 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 and all that. So guys, I'm making this video to clear things up so a lot of individuals should not be confused on what is actually going on in Binance. So guys, if this is the first time you are coming across my channel, ensure you click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you can be notified each time I release a new video. So guys, now we are going to head over to my Binance. We are talking about uh, Binance and um, a lot of you, I think, know about Binance and uh, are probably using Binance for buying and selling or trading of cryptocurrency. Most of you have the capability to still log into your Binance right now and check if Binance is actually bound in Nigeria. Now, let me clear something out. Our Binance is still working very well and a lot of merchants are still buying and selling on Binance. Meanwhile, as of two days ago or a day ago, I think uh, the Binance uh, buy section was empty. Uh, uh, it is due to so many reasons because as you can see the Naira is flying every day and um, a lot of merchants especially merchants you see all these people you see are individuals that are placing this you know this art most of them decided to post a kind of ad that is to make Naira 2000 Naira to one dollar you understand so i think that was a kind of restriction or so because i saw some ad for 2000 naira but at the end of the day they, they were not there anymore and there, there was no ad that was uh, there so and uh, a lot of merchants was was complaining that we, they were being restricted to place an ad you know with the amount they want to well, well, that doesn't mean that um, Binance is not working in Nigeria again because as you can see, these are ads that are still here and I've done my transaction today and the transaction is going well. I still bought today and I still sell today. So guys, a lot of people are just, you know, moving with rumors that um, Binance is no longer working in Nigeria again, it's bound in Nigeria, we need to use VPN. As you can see, I'm not using any VPN to access my Binance and uh, my Binance is still working very, very well. And, you know, one thing I want you guys to understand is this kind of thing is not new to me or neither to anybody that have been in cryptocurrency for the past seven years. A lot of people would, uh, would have understand that um, most of this kind of thing happens in Nigeria, you know them coming up with a kind of um, news report or central bank uh, circular that talks about uh, restricting cryptocurrencies you know at some point they said that they have lifted the bound of cryptocurrency because <laughs> if they say they lift the band how come we are still trading since they banned the coin or they banned the cryptocurrency exchanges because uh, you know there was a circular that came out um, as of um, three months ago or so or even maybe last year uh, and that said that uh, okay the nigerian government have now lifted the ban in cryptocurrency i was surprised because there was nothing like ban in cryptocurrency everybody was still buying cryptocurrency from the beginning of the time they said they they banned the cryptocurrency now when they say they, they release the bound they were just bounding their self and raising their self. You understand? And because this is, this is just P2P, personal, person to person transaction, you know, it's just a matter of we that is selling and we that is buying. We shouldn't, uh, we should understand that most of this um, news, you know, is not uh, new. They will come up, they will say that they will ban cryptocurrency. But nobody can bound something, you know, that is that is decentralized, you know. With, with our collective agreement, we will always use that cryptocurrency or use that platform. Now, Binance as a as a platform is a centralized, you know, something, you know. 
and it is advisable for anybody not to put in your you know, cryptocurrency assets that you want to hold for a long time in, for a long period on a centralized cryptocurrency exchange rather binance even have um, a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange called trust wallet which you can use to store your cryptocurrency it matter what, what let me assume that something wants to happen to binance today as far as you have your your coins in your trust wallet you are good to go nothing is going to affect you because it is decentralized you are the only one controlling your your trust wallet meanwhile it is not even advisable to put in your cryptocurrency assets on on centralized exchanges not just binance you know if you are a trader like a spot trader or a, 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 a futures trader you just only put the funds you're using to trade on your binance so that is just a, a piece of advice but right now you can see the binance p2p is still working people are buying people are selling these are merchants that are you know carrying out transactions as we speak and um, a lot of things are happening you know one thing i want you to understand is a lot of bloggers are using this um, avenue to you know to make money because once things like this come up a lot of people tend to you know react to it and bloggers have the capacity to make cool money now so if you check online you see a lot of blogs talking about how nigerian government we banned I uh, all have banned some of them say, said that have banned binance you know you will need to use your vpn to enter your binance as you can see i'm on my binance i've done transaction today everything is still working fine the advice i just give people is just don't store your cool cryptocurrency that you you invested on for a long term period on binance or on any cryptocurrency exchange so guys that is what i came to say and for the Nigerian government, I think uh, combating Binance is going to be tough. Let me use that word because if, if they say they want to use, uh, they want to ban Nigeria themselves, they wouldn't. Let me assume if they want to ban Binance as a as, as a site or a, a platform on in Nigeria, a lot of Nigerians we are going to access Binance through their VPN, you know and that will make, render it useless or they can still decide to use other cryptocurrency exchange Binance is just one of the cryptocurrency exchange that exists in the crypto space there's multiple cryptocurrency exchange that has the p2p section just like binance and people can patronize and do their transaction through that means or better still do their transaction person to person you know so that is it and I believe everything will be fine with uh, Binance and uh, the crypto space in general in Nigeria. So guys, don't panic. Just, you know, do the necessary and uh, the Binance is still safe to buy cryptocurrency and send, you know, to other exchange or to other wallets, you know, decentralized wallets to be precise. You need to hold your cryptocurrency investment on a decentralized wallet generally not just because of this this thing that's happening or the binance uh, um, said to have problem with nigeria something like that so guys i want you guys to take care and uh, remain blessed and uh, bye for now